Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California weather watch. Today is November 23rd and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Got the state of California to the right. Check out the Northeast Pacific Ocean vortex continuing to churn and spin moisture back into the state. We have another fairly robust system that's going to be rolling in early next week. We're going to take a look at that uh, in some detail as we go through the video here this morning. First things first, look at some of these 24-hour totals yesterday. I don't know if that 7.5 is legit, but this is plenty here across the Santa Cruz Mountain, out of the Bay Area, had some flooding yesterday, and all the way up into Sacramento Valley. Very heavy precipitation over the last 24 hours. The good news is this atmospheric river has sagged to the south, and it is weakening as we speak. But yeah, very impressive precipitation totals. Now, this is the last scan on the Doppler radar. This is that atmospheric river. It's weakening, like I said. Point Conception is right here, and this was what was across the Bay Area yesterday. But you can still see we have some moderate rainfall. It's just much more isolated than what we were getting across uh, much of central and northern California over the last few days. So it still could cause some flooding concerns, but at least it's not a widespread, powerful atmospheric river as of now. But we do have more to come here, folks, so stay tuned. Now, taking a look here, this is the upper level trough. You can see it is going to be with us all the way on through early next week, not going anywhere in a hurry. And then we have another system out through the extended that we have to watch out here between Hawaii and California. It might trade to bring some precipitation back towards the coastal regions. How much much will that impact the state of California? That is the question we are going to try to answer over the next couple of days. So we have the initial system here as we're going through Saturday right now. And some of this is going to try to move down towards Los Angeles. We're not looking at a flooding event or anything like that. A bit heavier across Santa Barbara and Ventura County. And then this is the next system up there. And that's one we're going to pay attention to here as we go through the video. Now, uh, the excessive rainfall outlook is calling attention to a significant more significant plume of moisture slash integrated vapor transport into portions of Southern and Central California. And they do talk about this. And, and from their wording, you, we may get an upgrade here as we go through the day today. They will be updating this and we'll see how that goes. But I'll do my best to fill you in in the meantime. And day one, excessive rainfall outlook, still some heavier rain out there at times, but more isolated. And then you can kind of see they keep it across Northern California for the next couple of days. And again, we may get an upgrade here as we go uh, through the day today. We'll see how that turns out. But now taking a look at what is going on, this is the one that was across the Bay Area and is sagging south as we go through this morning. You notice it's losing its punch by the time it gets to Southern California. A bit of light precipitation as we go through the day today and through tonight. Then you can kind of see the trough still hanging out there and starts getting this next storm organized as we go on in through very late Sunday night and Monday morning. And by the way, you see some of the persistent nature of this precipitation across Northern California with so much rainfall that's fallen in the previous days. That's why they kept some of the excessive rainfall outlooks up for that region. But you can see this very potent storm right towards the central coast as we go on in through Monday morning, continuing on some very heavy rainfall possible with that. Some big snowfall amounts. We'll go over that in a moment. And you can see some of that trying to spread down towards Southern California. And you see it finally lets up there as we go through Wednesday morning. Then we have this next system out here, which is going to try to creep towards the coastline here as well. We'll see what that one has in store for us as we go through future days. It's still a little, little ways out there. That would be a Thursday night next week. Now, looking at the high resolution model, put this into motion. And again, you can see kind of the downward trend here, especially across Central California as we go towards tomorrow morning. And then we scroll on in through uh, on the day Sunday. You can still see this persistent precipitation showing up. So it's not giving uh, Northern California a lot of time to dry out. And then the next system starts rolling in as we go on into Monday morning. And that's that more powerful atmospheric river that's going to focus itself a little bit further south. So at least this isn't coming back up uh, across Northern California. And you see the snowfall amounts. This is mainly above 6,500 feet there, but you know that includes a lot of the past locations and a lot of back roads are going to be involved in this very heavy snowfall across the Sierra Nevada as we go through the upcoming week. Now, uh, taking a look at the European, uh, this is an up close view here. And again, this is kind of the same map I showed just zoomed in, but look at that plume of moisture. These are three hour chunks we're going through here, folks. So we're probably gonna have some flooding concerns with this, especially along the central coast, maybe down towards Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. And again, some very heavy snowfall incoming. Uh, this is how we measure atmospheric rivers. This is integrated vapor transport and just kind of showing you this is what was over the Bay Area yesterday. Again, sliding to the south and weakening and then the next storm system up. You can see this one is going to pack a little bit of a punch here right for the central coast and hang out for a bit as we go through the day Tuesday and through Wednesday morning. And then this next system out here, we'll see what that has in store for us as we go on future days. 
Now, 24 hour, 75th percentile on the European Ensemble. So put this into motion. You can clearly see the next storm system as we go through Monday morning right into the central coastline. These are 24 hour running totals. So some pretty hefty amounts across the Sierra Nevada and for some of the central coast. And some nice rainfall here for the San Joaquin Valley. That is very beneficial overall. And let's just hope we can handle how rapidly this rainfall is occurring. And then we go out towards the end of the forecast and you can see that maybe trying to get towards the coastline there. So this is from the National Weather Service, Hanford, California, strong winter storm it will impact central California through this weekend. And again, mainly above 6,500 feet through 4 p.m. Tuesday, probably lingering on in through the Wednesday morning time period. And some of these accumulations are probably gonna be up over two feet. Well, there it is, yeah, four feet at higher elevations. Wind gusts could reach 50 miles per hour. So yeah, moderate heavy rainfall for some locations as well. Now, taking a look at the European, this is 24 hour running total. So we've gotten some decent amounts across the higher terrain. A little bit of a break here as we go through Sunday. But then as we go through the day Monday, look at some of these totals just come roaring back. We peg the scale <laughs> here. Almost, well, almost 48 inches is the scale. But you can see big amounts coming as we go through Tuesday afternoon. And finally, we get a break after that. Or so we think. We'll watch that next storm system out there. But if we take a look at snow level forecast, so you would see uh, this is this morning at 4 a.m. There's 10 a.m. And Donner Summit here is just over 7,000 feet. And as we get this next system rolling in here, you can see the snow starts to accumulate again and the snow levels are below past levels. We do have to watch out for that. This is as we go for tomorrow and on in through Monday and Tuesday. And this is Tioga Pass, uh, again, about 10,000 feet. And you can see the snow levels below the pass area, sesame plot right there. So yeah, we're gonna have some uh, winter uh, conditions. In fact, let me back back up here uh, for a moment. You can see Echo Pass as well is just below 8,000 feet. There's Carson Pass over 8,000 feet, Brockway Summit about 7,000 feet or so, relatively speaking, and Mount Rose Highway Summit is over 8,000 feet. But again, you can see the snow levels are below a lot of these pass areas as we go on into the initial portion of next week. Now, this is the Hanford National Weather Service look at water equivalent precipitation amounts. And again, a lot of this is going to be falling at snow, especially across uh, areas 6,500 feet or higher. But you can see Potterville there. There's Shaver Lake, Lake Thomas Edison right there. Now, uh, the high wind, there's a high wind warning also for uh, places like the East Sierra Slopes and Owens Valley until 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. You see some gusts to 70 miles per hour. Take a look at the winds here on the North American model. And you can see, again, across the higher terrain, pretty gusty winds as we go through the day today. In the desert areas of Peninsular Range, you know, out of the west, all the way out towards Las Vegas, some gusty conditions. But I want to show you here this uh, system that's kind of moving in as we go through tomorrow morning for Northern California. This is going to bring some gusty winds as well, mainly north of the Bay Area. And then we get this next system, could bring some locally windy conditions even towards the Bay Area and the Central Coast. And that'll be what's steering that atmospheric river into Central California as we go on into the early portion of next week. So 10 meter accumulated max wind gusts. I'm going to show you this here north of the Bay Area. The, again, this is on the day Sunday. See some gusty winds moving moving back in, and then this next system rolls in here towards central California coastline there. Now, so yeah, um, lots going on still here across the state. Uh, the good news is, is we're not expecting any kind of big flooding across Southern California, but this is a fairly high impact storm. And you're probably going to start to hear more about this today on some of the news and social media and whatnot, because this storm is going to bring a punch and the European is showing some pretty significant precipitation as we talked about and you know the higher terrain watch out for that the gusty winds out there as well and we do have increased wave activity with these storms up and down the coastline it is fall after all but anyway hope you guys are having a good day we're going to break this all down again tomorrow the good news is that tomorrow will be Sunday and that storm system is not expected to move in until very late tomorrow night and on in through Monday morning so tomorrow we will get another full look at that storm system we'll also take a look at the extended forecast and see what that next storm system is going to do as we move through next week or will we get a break finally so anyway hope you guys are having a good day otherwise click like and subscribe we will do this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then